my heart shall not fear. The war may rise against me, and this is I don't One thing have I desire of the Lord, and I will see that and I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the things of the Lord, and to inquire of his wisdom. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his family. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me on high on the rock. And shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Therefore, when I offer in his tabernacle the sacrifice of the Lord, I will sing, yea, I will sing praises upon the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When I will say to me, I see my face. My heart shall face, Lord, Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in hunger. You have been my help. Do not leave me, nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother, when the Lord has taken me off. Teach me your way, O God, and leave me in a smooth path. Because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. For God is the reason of the me, and such as bring us cruelty. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. But you shall spread the vine out. Wait, I say, on the Lord. This is the word of the Lord we have written by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. God bless you at this time, of God. Praise you to come and lead us into the word of worship.
lamb that I am, the conquering lamb, of the old tribe of Judea. We worship at your feet, Lord.
God Almighty to deliver what you have laid on his heart. We pray, dear God, that you will tabernacle with him. Rest your mighty hand upon him. Let his voice be your voice and glorify yourself, dear God, through him. God, we pray that you will speak. You will, O oh God Almighty, this man, and let your word go forth, dear God Almighty, without any obstacle, as it spread, dear God, throughout the community, throughout the country, throughout the rest of the world, and those who are listening in the name of Jesus will be blessed through your word in Jesus' holy precious name. At this time, Reverend Winston Pastor, you may come in. Praise God. My brothers and sisters, let's glorify the Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. This morning we truly give our thanks for His presence and glory. And I want to lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to say to my brothers and sisters who are listening uh, this morning and friends, and what's up on Instagram or on YouTube. We want to greet you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just want to give God thanks to you, my brethren, who are listening out there. We long to see you. Praise God. We just long for the fellowship again. And I pray God that soon and very soon, we will back together in the house of the Lord to lift up his precious and holy name. But in the meantime, I ask you to be strong. Rest in the Lord your God. And remember, our God is in control and our God reigns. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to let you know my brothers and sisters that next week which is at least a Sunday yes and I think Good Friday also will be coming from here but I just I'm going to because of what is happening I do, I'm going to ask those who to be here Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Praise God. It is critical because they, they are visiting the churches, looking at how many members are in the, in the church on a Sunday when we worship. So I, I will have to do that. Um, so I ask you, I don't want anybody vex. But if you're vex, you're going to have to repent. But we have to do that for our own good. Amen. Bless the Lord with me. Amen. Praise God. So, brothers and sisters, I want you. The word of God will be coming from Job chapter I think it's 32 From 1 to 5 and chapter 36 verse 1. (laughs) 
So these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then was killed on the wrath of Elihu, the son of Bashel, Bashel, the two sons of the kindred. Father, the mic is sitting on the front door. Of the kindred of Ram, against two of us is Ram kindred because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends was his wrath kingdom, because they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job. Now only he was, had waited till Job had spoken, because they were elder than he. When Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, then his wrath was kindled. Verse 36 and verse, chapter 36 and verse 5. Behold, God is mighty and despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. We say amen. amen. To the word of God. Praise God. You want to make a work? My brothers and sisters, oh. I want to speak to you on a very unfamiliar thing. God and trial. God on trial. trial. His existence is a trial by some. His character, justice, and love are on trial by others. His truth is on trial, scared by others. Is his word, is his word, Absolute or relative? The question is God's word absolute or relative? In the book of Job, the justice of God was a trial as it is today. Be defended in the light of the coronavirus sufferings. But many are asking, where is God yes. in all of this? Does God care in all of this? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. How can we say God is good when we see war, poverty, and starvation around us? How can we continue to trust God and worship Him when personal suffering comes our way? My Bible brothers and sisters, I want to follow me. The Bible opens with the phrase, in the beginning God, not in the beginning man, hallelujah, but in the beginning God, hallelujah. I say to us as believers that faith is rooted in our understanding of God. Yes. Hallelujah. That's where your faith, when you 
you understand who is God, your faith will be rooted in Him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We understand God through creation. We understand God through the Bible. We understand God through our experiences with Him. And most importantly, we understand God through the revelation of His Son, Jesus Christ. Somebody praise Him. Hallelujah. I ask the question, my brothers and sisters, why is this important? Hallelujah. Because it is important. Because the knowledge of God is the basis of our faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Because we have a knowledge of God, we know who God is. Yes. Hallelujah. And we our faith rest in Him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hear me this morning. We trust God to the degree that we know and accurately understand Him in light of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Hear me, my brothers and sisters. And many are facing the same situation this morning like Job. Job hit a low point when he wanted to plead his case and defend his innocence before God but felt he could not find God. Woo! And then you're asking the question where is God? In all of this. Hallelujah. Like Job. Job's. In all of his suffering. He was searching for God. Yes. But he couldn't find him. Job said I go forward. I can't find him. And over 
overlook his pride. Hallelujah. He sets forth an argument to defend the justice of God. Hallelujah. And my brothers and sisters, hallelujah. In all that Almighty God does, He can be justified. Everything God does, does. He is justified. Nobody trying. Oh God Almighty. Nobody persecuting. With all the thousands that are suffering this morning. Hallelujah. And dying across the world. Nobody can ask God why. <laughs> For he is God. He is God, sister to the all by himself. Hallelujah. None above him. None before him. None beside him. None after him. He remains the supreme, holy, almighty God. The powerful God of heaven and the earth. No, sir. God no answerable to nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. He set forth an argument to defend the justice of God. The def Job defends the character of God. Hallelujah. God is greater than man. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus Christ. When you look across the world, every country, every government, hallelujah, every medical person, every scientist, whatever they are, are confused. Don't nobody know what to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, many are saying we have never seen anything like this. Glory to God. It's not happening in one country or two. This is a global thing. Ah, Almighty God. Hallelujah. I say, my brothers and sisters, remember your God is greater than man. God is mighty and does not. Desire. The help of man. God is mighty. He does but does not despise men. He is mighty and firm in his purpose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible said, God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? God Almighty. Hallelujah. Does he promise and not fulfill? Whatever God said he will do, he will do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He told us that in the last he is coming up to the hour. Perilous times shall come. Dangerous times shall come. Hallelujah. Oh Lord God Almighty. Aye. He told us of earthquakes in diverse places. He told us of wars and rumors of war. He told us of pestilence in various places. He told us, Lord, God Almighty, that all of these things 
must happen. There's going to be distress of nations. My God, which nation right now are distressed? Which country right now are distressed? Which leader now are distressed? God told us in His Word that it's going to come. But before one shot of His Word feel, heaven and earth passed away. Hallelujah. But He hear me. My God is in control. Hallelujah. 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 Your God, my God, is in charge. He is in control. He is at the wheel. Hallelujah. He is at the head of the ship. Jesus, somebody said, in the midst of a crisis, Jesus, Savior, pile at me. Open life, the best you see. And no waves before me roll. Chart and rock and track of soul. Chart and compass comes from thee. Jesus, Savior, pilot me. My when at last I reach the shore and the fearful break a sword brings me on thy peaceful rest. Then while leaning on thy grace, may I hear thee say to me, Fear not, I will pilot you. Oh God, brothers and sisters, I say to every Christian out there, Fear not, God will pilot you. Fear not, God will protect you. Fear not, God will see you through you. Oh God says so. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. I am with you. Fear not. I will pilot you. God will take care of you. No matter what may be the test. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. Oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, in the midst of the crisis, God is love. And everything has to be, be seen through that filter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That God is love. Hallelujah. God is holy. Hallelujah. So he said in the midst of the crisis, we must be holy as he is holy. Brothers and sisters, God is incapable of evil. Hallelujah. The God that I serve, the God that you serve, is incapable of evil. Hallelujah. So you can trust the character. Of God, you can trust the character. Of God, you can trust the word of God. Hallelujah. For God cannot be tempted by evil. The word of God said, God cannot be tempted by evil. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, the Lord is God. The Lord is God. The Lord is God. A refuge in times of trouble. He comes for those who trust in him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is God. And merciful. And kind. Hear me. There is a cartoon. Strip of Dennis the Menace. And his friend Joey. Leaving 
Mrs. Wilson's house with their hands full of cookies. Joy says to Dennis, I wonder what we did to deserve this. God Almighty. Dennis says to Joy, Mrs. Wilson, give us cookies. Not because we are nice, but because she is nice. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! If it was left to their niceness, they would be dead for hungry. They wouldn't get cookies. God don't bless us because we are nice. God don't protect us because we are good. Hallelujah. God don't protect us because of our standing. Ah, God protect us. And God preserve us. And God bless us. Because God is good, merciful, and kind. We don't deserve it. So, in the midst of what is happening, God is still good. Not because we are good, we are going to come out of it, but because of the goodness of God. And the mercy and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is sovereign. My brothers and sisters, the God we serve is sovereign. Hallelujah. God reigns over creation. Not coronavirus. It's not the devil. Who reigns over creation? It is our God. Our God reigns. So no matter what is happening, God reigns. Hallelujah. The devil don't have control. Lord God Almighty. No control over the earth. The devil has. It is God who reigns. God reigns over creation. God reigns over history. God reigns over the ultimate course of the world. Hallelujah. God is king. And the course the world takes is the guiding hand of Almighty God. Hallelujah. But watch this, brothers and sisters. In spite of what the coronavirus is doing, underneath is still the mercy of God, is still the greatness of God, is still the power of God, the goodness of God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. God is king over the earth. But him alone sit on the throne. Amen. The Bible said in Psalm 103, 19, The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom will over all. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord. And his Christ. Hallelujah. And he will reign forever. And ever. Hallelujah. Nobody is more talk God. If some political leaders. Do. What Corona doing. The next election he owned. As a matter of fact, the only demonstration and riot over the country. They would be, oh God, they would have to step down immediately and call an election. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. But nobody can 
demonstrate against God. Nobody can float out God. Nobody can take God to the media. Lord God, shall I preach this morning? Hallelujah! No matter what press conference you want to call as leaders of the world, you can't do God anything. A is king. He is supreme. He is sovereign. Mm. Brothers and sisters, I want to watch this. Sovereignty is like the boundaries of a football field. Human freedom operates within limited bounds, and so does evil. Corona virus can't go beyond the boundaries of God. It's only God is limitless. It's not have a boundary. His love has no boundary. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God set the boundaries in which we can operate and with which evil can function in the world. So when you hear certain God men kill six one day or ten, God still set the boundary. But they can't go overhead. But you have to understand that all of those gunmen in, in God's boundary, so God knows where to find them when he's ready. Hallelujah. So every gunman out here, every murderer, every criminal out here, you are within the boundaries of God. God know where you're there. If you want that bed. Or you know on the bed. God will find you. For you are within the boundaries of God. You can't operate outside of that. Hallelujah. 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 Brothers and sisters, I want to let you know also that Satan is limited by God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Satan is not limitless. Glory. He is limited in what he can do. And it is Hallelujah, by God. And he will meet his final end yes. when God ready. Glory to God. In Revelation 12 and verse 12, we read that the devil knows that his time is short. Yes. That is why he is on a mission to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Hallelujah. Because his time is short upon the earth. Hallelujah. And that evil is limited by God. And he, God, is in charge. For our God reign. Our God reign. the omnipotent God. Brothers and sisters, I came up out of, out of history of something happened many years ago in the United States. It is said that when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated 
as a president of the United States. The nation went into mourning. There was confusion, despair, and hopelessness. Hallelujah. Just like what is happening right now. There is confusion upon the land. There is despair upon the land. There is hopelessness upon the land. I saw a video yesterday where a billionaire in the United States lost his family. He is down with the coronavirus. He went up in the top floor of the hotel and plunged himself through the window to the ground. Kill himself. Oh God. Here was a man in confusion. In despair and hopelessness. God Almighty. But when you know God, yes. when you know God is making a difference, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That I don't have to be dismayed. But God will take care of me. Yes. Hallelujah. God will protect me. That's what the word of God said. He said, I will never leave thee. Not forsake thee. For lo, I am with you. Even on to the end of this world. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Don't trouble me. I have somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day. Don't trouble overtake me. Oh, God. Don't coronavirus overtake the world. I have somebody with me on the way. Yes, sir. In bitter toil and sorrow. Heart is not of you. A consolation sweet is mine each day. For I'm going home tomorrow. When life and earth is I have somebody. I have somebody, church of God. Will somebody raise your hand and give it to you. Somebody worship him somewhere. Worship him. I have somebody with me. All the way. 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 I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He said, blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a poor place. A glory divine. Hair of salvation. Purchase of God. Born of his spirit. Washing his blood. This is my story. This is my son. Praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. Praise my Savior. Hallelujah. When Corona is gone, may I praise God. When it's not gone, may I praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. But in the midst of the confusion, in New York City, a crowd had gathered to express the loss of their great leader and their concern about the future. Suddenly, a man climbed up the stairs 
of a building where he could look over the crowd and shouted with a loud voice, the Lord reigns over Washington. Brothers and sisters, the people grew silent as the meaning of his words reassured them. Slowly they began to disperse and go about their business. Glory to God. Let me assure my brothers and sisters, let me assure those who are watching and listen to the service. Our God reigns. Yes. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Church, our God reigns. He reigns over the world. He reigns over Jamaica. He reigns over the church. He reigns over every disease.
Hear me, church of God. Hear me. In the midst of the crisis of the coronavirus. Don't stand on the blood. Stand on the blood yes. of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But if it's the blood of Jesus that make you see it. Yes. I'm going to protect you. And I ask you that because you're lacking, can't come to church as you are to. But don't lose your praise. No. Yeah, the blood. Stay under the blood yes. and maintain your praise. Maintain your shout. Maintain your glory. Maintain your hallelujah. Maintain the holiness. Amen. And your relationship with God. Praise your God. Thank you, Jesus. This will soon pass. It will soon pass. When you come out of this, we must come out better. Yes. We must come out as pure gold. Show to God. I close. Hear me. Here are three lessons. Here are three life lessons we need to learn in the midst of this crisis. We need to trust God's character. Two, we need to worship God's majesty and holiness. And three, we need to remember our God reigns and is in control. Let me close with this illustration again. The great fire. The great Chicago fire occurred in 1871. Over 300 people died. And another 100,000 were left homeless. One of the great heroes of the great Chicago fire was an attorney named Horatio Stafford who lost a lot of his real estate in the fire. His young son had also died the previous year. Yet, he helped others who were homeless because of the fire. Because of his generosity and service, he was well known throughout Chicago as a true Christian. Brothers and sisters, in November 1973, Spafford and his family decided to take a vacation. Spafford was a good friend of B.L. Moody and his family decided to meet Moody on one of his evangelistic campaigns in England. From here, the family would travel to you to Europe. But before they were to leave, Horatius Papa was unexpectedly detained by business concern in Chicago. His wife, Anna, and their daughters went on ahead to England, where he would later join them. Church of God. Just off 
Newfoundland. The ship collided with an English sailing vessel and sunk within 20 minutes. Anna Spafford was one of the 81 passengers who survived. Tragically, all four of their daughters perished. They were part of the 226 who died. Oh God, help me. Brothers and sisters, Anna Spafford had breaking telegram to her husband. Simply read two words Save alone. Save alone. Out of the family. I alone was saved. Spafford set sail for England to join her. As the ship that he was traveling on passed by the location where his daughters had drawn, Horatio Spafford, under the inspiration, the anointing, and the power of the Holy Ghost, spent these words. When peace, like a river, attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my Lord who has taught me to say, it is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. With my soul. Though Satan should perfect, though trial should come, let this place assurance control that Christ had regarded my helpless spirit when I shed his own blood for my soul. It is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. Stafford know that he is God. In spite of the tragedy, his God was in charge. His God reigned. His God is still alive. His God is still on the throne. And in control. Yes, sir. It is well. You are. You are. Jehovah. Elohim. The God of creation. You are the creator of the universe. The heavens. The earth. The world. And all they are dwelling. You don't have to find a blessing for me. You are the greatest creator. Who is able to create a blessing for me, God. And for the world. You are Jehovah El Shaddai. You are the God of all plenty. And you provide more than enough for your children. You are the self-sufficient one who supplies all our needs according to your riches and glory with Christ Jesus. Because you are, there is no lack in any area of our lives. You cause our grace to abound towards us. So that I have our sufficiency in all things. You can, you are able to bless us exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. You are Jehovah, the great I am. You are the self existing one, the one who never leads me to what I need because you are what I need in everything. Oh God, can I preach the song of 
in every situation. You are Jehovah. Shalom. The Lord God, my peace. You are my peace. You are us, my high power. You are against the enemy. You are my shield, my buckler. You are my victor, oh God, and my captain over me. You give me the victory over sin. You give me victory over sickness. You give me victory over poverty. And you give me victory over the enemy of my life. And you are able in this crisis to give us victory over Corona. Hallelujah. Shalom. Believe us. God is your peace in the crisis. Ah, yes, sir. In the midst of the storm, Jehovah Shalom exists. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Nisi, the Lord my banner. You are my banner. God, you are my high tower. Oh, God, I can't see any. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider. You are the one who provides for me everything I need according to your riches and glory. In Christ Jesus. You are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals me. God. I say to every believer, everybody out there who were inflicted by the coronavirus or by cancer or by lupus or whatever the disease, the Lord God, your Jehovah, wrath. The Lord that heals. Hallelujah. Because of the stripes of Jesus Christ. No plague, no sickness or disease will come nigh the dwelling. You take sicknesses and diseases away from me. And the number of my days you shall fulfill. And because of you, I am whole. Because of you. I am healed. Because of you, I am delivered. Because of you, I am well. And sound in my spirit, so that body, somebody worship you. By your strike. By your strike. We are healed, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Shama. You are always here for us. You are always here for me. You will never leave me nor forsake me on all the days of my life. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Hold on, my child, in spite of the suffering. No. You lost your job. You are laid off. God Almighty. Keep it drying up. Money drying up. Things in the cupboard drying up. I Lord God help me. Church of God. Hold on. My child. Child comes in the morning. Weeping on the last for a night. Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. Finally, my brothers and sisters, he is Jehovah Roy, the Lord, who is my shepherd. I shall not want hallelujah glory to God 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. 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 In the midst of the crisis, I shall not want. You shall not want. Hallelujah. Oh God. You believe me beside the sin waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me beside the sin waters. God, for his own name's sake. Yea, though I walk. Through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For the walk with me. You are not. You are stop. You comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell. I shall dwell. I shall remain in the house of the Lord and in the presence of the Lord, our God, forever. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord God omnipotent reigneth forever and ever and ever and ever and ever to the God. Rest in God. Fast in your seat by believers. Enter your soul in the heaven of rest. Thank you. Hallelujah. For Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Rapha, reign forever and ever. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God keep you. God preserve you. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present the faultless before his throne with exceeding and great God to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Go now and pay Christ's return. Poor God, poor God, poor God, God will, God will. In shady green pastures, so rich and so sweet, God leads their children along. And the waters to flow its the weary one sweet, God leads. Thank you.
just give God glory. Just give God praise because He's worthy. He's worthy of all our praise. And all glory belongs to Him. Glory to your name, God. You're worthy to be praised. The writer said, Some through the water, some through the flood, some through break the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrows, but God gave a son. In the night season, all the day long, no matter what you're going through, it doesn't matter what you're going through, whether you're going through the water, or you're going through the flood, or you're going through the fire, make sure you're under the blood. Hallelujah. And then you'll get that sound to keep you all the day long. For and every, we just want to thank you for today. Thank you for your goodness and for your grace and mercy. We thank thee, O oh God, for thy loving kindness and your tender mercies. Thank you for your word. As you use your servant and you speak through him. Thank you for anointing him. Thank you, O oh God Almighty, for giving this word to your people today. That somebody, O oh God, who was haunting between two opinions believed in dear God Almighty that you are you don't care and you don't care for humanity anymore somebody will get that understanding from this word that God for today I pray of God that you will heal somebody mind right now you will touch somebody's soul you will save dear God to the uttermost Reach down your mighty hands right now and do, dear God, for somebody what no other powers can do. Let somebody cry out, dear God, to you this moment. I heal, I heal, I cannot bear it no longer. Let this word, dear God, that I speak from this pulpit today, oh God, be beneficial to somebody. Somebody, dear God Almighty, in Canada, in the United States, in St. Anne's Day, oh God Almighty, are we revived in Jamaica, are we revived in the world, dear God, that somebody were listening to this word. We pray, dear God, that you alone will be seen and be lifted up and be exalted and be glorified to your word as it go forth. God, we pray, dear God, that you will, oh God Almighty, take charge over each and every one of us. Remember the families, the families, dear God Almighty, that are at home and watching, dear God, and YouTube, and watching on our God and Facebook, and whatsoever media, dear God, they are watching through. I pray for them also. I pray, dear God Almighty, that this thing will go away speedily, that the people can come together to worship you, oh God, in one accord again. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you're about to do. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy towards us. We thank you that you're a God who have never changed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And no corona can change you. It doesn't matter what is going on in the world. You are still the same God. The same God who sit high and look low. The same God who cares all about us because we cast our cares upon you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercies. Have your way right now as we cast our cares upon you. Bless this body of mine. Glorify yourself in it now. Change the contents and let it all God Almighty use your glory. Touch it, dear God, with your blood. Break this seal right now. And do extremely, dear God Almighty, something extraordinary in this bottle of fire. Oh God Almighty, as we, oh God, consecrate it to your love and to your mercies. Oh God, we ask that you will take charge over each and every one of us. Bless the families that are represented here. 
Bless the family, dear God Almighty, that are listening. Oh God, oh dear, bless each and every one of us. Let that get God as I ask one more time. Because your ears are not heavy and your hands are not short. Let none of us, dear God Almighty, come down with this virus. I pray, dear God, that you will wash everybody in the world. You will, oh God Almighty, sanctify everybody's heart. You will sanctify everybody's head and knife to our head with oil and let our cup run over. Let goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life and we will continue to dwell in your house forever and ever and ever. God Almighty, let your Holy Spirit dwell, dear God Almighty, in our living hall. Let your holy anointing dwell in our kitchen. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in our living room. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in our bedroom. Let your anointing flow, dear God, in the bathroom and wherever your people are. I plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus right now. To oh God, move and go to this place now in the name of Jesus. And move over your people. Sanctify us again, God, and wash us and purge us and cleanse us and do for us what God of our can Have thy own way now. Give for God our all into your hands. And God, we just rest in you right now. And thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're about to do. Rest your hand upon Pastor, Pastor, and Sister, Pastor again. Glorify yourself again in your life. Give them, dear God Almighty. Oh God, auctionize his spirit. Auctionize him, dear God Almighty. And continue to give him a word to give to your people. Speak through him. Let him do nothing of himself, God. But everything you do, will do according to your will. Oh God Almighty, as we pilgrim through this barren land, you know we are weak, but the watch strong. Hold us with your powerful hand. Bread of heaven, feed us till we wash no more. Bread of heaven, feed us till we wash no more. Continue to provide for your people. Open doors for your people. Make way when it seems like there is no way. And we give you all of the praise. Give you all of the glory. Give you, dear God Almighty, all praise and all glory because it belongs to you. We tell you that this. In Jesus' name. And now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and God, full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit and comfort, rest remain and abide with all of us. No one forever. I just want to say to the brethren of the that on Good Friday, and I said, we'll be streaming live from here. And on Easter Sunday, we'll be also live streaming from here. And you will get it on social media, on the WhatsApp group tomorrow. Yeah. I want to see if we can, I can have the converse class stream live on Tuesday night from home and Bible study from home Wednesday night so it will be on the, the WhatsApp group tomorrow and you can spread it to those of you. so church must start time time for Bible studies and Time for Bible studies. What time? Yes. About 7 30. 7 30, you can tune in for Bible study. So, God bless you. See you at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock for Good Friday service.